Hey guys, I uh, have a customer who wants to do um, his house, uh, tiki bar in the back, and garage. And so he's gonna need three separate controllers, and he's gonna want, he wants to know, can I control them all three at the same time from basically, you know, just all three at the same time. I don't, I don't wanna be like, okay, I want green, so I gotta go to this, con go to the front, change it to green, go to the tiki bar, change it to green, garage to green. Don't wanna do that. So the best way to do that is just to sync one controller to control all the rest of the controllers. So an example right now, you'll see my house. I have the track lighting along the top. That is one controller. The lights wrapped around the railing, that's another controller. And the lights on the stairs is a separate controller. So you can see, I'll just take this off so you can see I'll change the track lighting at the top to green and you can see I'll change the rope lights to green so that's a separate controller and then I'll go to the last controller and I will change those lights on the step to green there so they're all you can see there's three three separate controllers so the quickest easiest way to do that is pick the one you want to be you know the main one that you can control everything from so for me I'll pick Oh, my lights just changed because it's 10 o'clock. I'll maybe uh, go back to my presets and put it back to all white instead of... Mm -hmm. I think that should be all white. I don't know. My GoPro just glitched out completely. Yeah. Okay, so that should be all white. So now we'll go and sync this controller here. So I should be able to now click Easter, my Easter preset, and all the lights will change there. So you can see, well, actually, except for that one on the step didn't. <clears throat> Let's just go back here. I'll go to colors let's just put it on let's just put it on solid everything's on purple so I'll change it to green the one on the stairs doesn't seem to want to follow there it goes maybe I'm just clicking around too fast take a minute here and click well, it gets like every second one for some reason Anyways, you get the idea. It should work. I'm not sure what's up with that one controller, but, or maybe I got too much stuff going on in my router and it's dropping connection on that one. I'm not too sure. Anyways, click and sync there will, should make it control. Sometimes if you unsync it and then resync it, it'll work a little bit better. I'll try that quick. Hit blue. Work that time. Can we get three out of three? Oh, it went to green. Let's try purple. Oh, there, it worked that time. So maybe sometimes you just gotta sync and unsync or not because it didn't work again. Blue, come on for white. There we go. Okay, so you kind of get that idea. Now, one thing I've just I've done this already, but I'll just show you how. Um, just like when you go to the LED app and it shows the three controllers, it's just going to say WLED for each controller. So you don't know which one's which. You don't know which one's the house, which one's the tiki bar, which one's the garage. So if you just go to configurations, um, go to your user interface. So this used to say, it now says back track lights. Um, it used to say WLED. So just change that and hit save. Uh, you'll see on the other controller, go to configurations, interface, it says railing lights. And this one here, I change to, whoops, let's go back, user interface, server description, stair light. So then you change those to whatever that controller is controlling and that way it's easy to find when, you're, when you click on your WLED app, you know what you're clicking on rather than just guessing and looking at the IP and trying to memorize that. Um, yeah, that breaks it down. I just kind of want to try it one more time. I'll post a picture of the app too on this video just so you can see how the app looks now after we made those changes but i'm going to go back to this and i just want to sync unsync this 
So unsyncing, change the track lights, they change, sync it together. Now I'll give it a minute, try changing the colors. Yeah, they all change. So we could try something else too, like a, even go to an effect. Um, let's do chase. I think I got a Halloween maybe one set up here. Yeah, you can see how everything's kind of following suit to what I clicked on. It's nice when things actually work. So yeah, it looks pretty good. I plan on doing a big display on the front of my house this year. So I'm looking forward to trying all these new products like the string lights and the pot lights and getting those all put in there and syncing together and just running some pretty neat displays for the over Halloween and Christmas. But I'll post some videos on that later on. Let's try colorful. Yeah, looks good. Just another useful thing in WLED that when it works, it's great. And 90% of the time it does. Anyways, uh, that's all I got for this video. Thanks a lot and catch you guys later.